This is a quick screencast on how I use Google Slides to create a call sheet. So one issue that I have had is that uh, when I create my call sheet and I've tried to use Excel or Google Slides, I just can't get it to look the way I want it to look. And there are a couple really good um, resources out there that I think you know uh, could be a solution for you. Coach Vint uh, has an offensive game plan packet uh, that you can Google and find, and it's about 15 bucks, which I think is totally reasonable for what you're going to get out of that. And he's going to have way more than just a call sheet. It's going to uh, be, you're going to put your play menu in there. It's going to populate practice plans and situational charts and scripts and other things like that. Um, along the same lines as the Coach's Edge game planning system, similar deal. Uh, you're going to put your information in there. It's going to give you uh, wristbands um, for uh, athletes and things like that. So both are really cool resources, and I actually have both. Um, but I don't use them because uh, we run uh, Unbalanced Single Wing. It's doesn't quite fit what a pro style or a um, uh, spread offense would do, at least uh, the way we practice, um, the way we play. We don't use wristbands. Uh, we don't practice everything every day. Um, you know, we, we're limited in what we do in terms of throwing the ball. So, uh, and we have a ton of tags and things that we have to practice each week um, versus different, uh, all the crazy looks that we get, the defense of the week that we look. So, this is tailored to what I use, and I just thought it might be helpful because uh, it seems to be come up quite a bit, you know, uh, requests for call sheets and other things like that. So anyway, all, the, all that we're going to do today is we're going to use Google Sheets to create the um, information that we're going to go ahead and use for the call sheet. Then we're going to use Jing, and you could use any screen capture software. You could use Snagit, uh, you know, Camtasia, whatever. Uh, I use Jing for this, and it works really well. And then finally, we're going to use Google Slides to put it all together. So um, just to show you really quickly, um, I have a Google Sheet open here. What I've done is created just a play menu. These are just our plays based and organized by, you know, the type of plays or series that we run. Um, what I'm going to do is come up here and I'm going to hit print and I'm going to select sec selection and then I'm going to select no, gr no grid lines so um, when I hit print it'll pop up now what I'm going to do with this print preview is I'm going to magnify it I'm going to use Jing to go ahead and capture the picture that I want to include in my call sheet so I hit capture, I name it, I save it. I like to save this to Dropbox and you could do whatever you want. You could save it onto your hard drive, you could save it to uh, Drive, Google Drive, whatever you want to use. I like to use Dropbox and um, what I would do is over here, I right click. Now you could go directly to your Google slide and um, download the or upload the picture using um, that function uh, and I'll show you how to do that if you want to do that but I just like because it's online I just copy the image and I come over to my slide that I already have kind of set up here and I paste it in so um, all I do now is resize it and let's say I want it I'm a little retentive about what it looks like now that looks really weird to me. I wouldn't do that. This is actually a pretty short list because we would have more normally. But, you know, you could go ahead. Maybe I decide, well, let's go ahead and make that bigger. These were actually shrunk down. So I could move these around. One of the cool things about slides is that as you move things around, it'll tell you when they're centered on one another. So um, I kind of like that. Um, Anyway, you guys could decide to do this any way, you, any, any way that you want. Um, you could find something else to put in here, personnel, so on and so forth. So, um, so this this is obviously very basic. We have plays by series uh, or type. Um, we have some situations here. 
We've got um, annealing charts, so time management. We've got more time management stuff here. Uh, and then we've got the two point chart. Maybe on the other side, we have personnel. Maybe we have more um, situations, a script, whatever else you want to do. Um, let me show you how I made it a eight and a half by 11 size page. So you go up to file and you go down to um, page setup and you're going, it'll be on standard or on widescreen, one of these, and you click on custom and then you just put in the size of paper. So if you use a call sheet that's eight and a half by 14 or 14 by eight and a half, whatever it is that you want, um, you go ahead and put that in there and it will print out 14 by, you know, uh, 17 or whatever. I don't know. Um, so we do, I use eight and a half by 11 cause that's a standard piece of paper. And I just put it like that and it, it works really, really well for what we're doing. So anyway, um, I'm hoping that this makes sense to you. Uh, and, uh, it's really simple. Uh, it's, it's a three-step process. You put your information in there, um, you take a picture of it, and then you put it on the slide and organize it. And it allows you to make it look however you want, regardless of your expertise with Excel or Google Sheets. Or Google, yeah, Google Sheets. So anyway, uh, if you have some feedback for me, uh, I'm on Twitter at, at Nathan Stanley, N-A-T-H-A-N-S-T-A-N-L-E-Y. And I'd love to hear from you and get any feedback that you have. Uh, thanks a lot and hope your off season is going well. And if you're still in the playoffs, uh, good luck.